What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video, late video, we got Zola's location and inventory, roll intros. Let's get into the video and I do hope you enjoy. Alrighty, now Zora is at the tower. Now with this update that is actually live at the moment, I was maybe hoping that maybe Bungie would potentially, possibly, it could have been a chance, maybe somewhere in the universe, they'd actually created a new weapon, new exotic, new, you know, something cool that potentially wouldn't have been revealed until Zor actually had it. Zor doesn't actually have anything new, but I will say it is a good idea for Bungie to kind of keep in mind. Zor should have some, you know, surprises for us. Starting this week off though, I will say this week Zor's stuff isn't actually too bad. Starting things off though with the MK44 standardized for the Titan, 23 legendary shards for this exotic. Sorry I sound sick as well, it's just still haven't gotten better. Anyway, main perk on this is called Seriously, Watch Out. Grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. I will say, this thing himself actually is pretty decent. These in themselves in Destiny 1 were amazing, and in Destiny 2 they are still pretty amazing. I will say, go ahead and pick them up if you have not got them. 23 legendary shards, once again, if you're Titan, if they have got them, you don't need them. If they haven't got them, pick them up. Next up though, we have the Nazarex Sin for the Warlock. 23 legendary shards for this very unique looking exotic. This thing in itself is pretty cool looking, and its main perk is pretty cool. It's okay. Abyssal Extractors. Void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate. I will say, with certain actual, you know, specs and builds on this thing in the self does work really well. Especially, you know, using Void just because it's for Void and Void stuff is fun. Especially, it's a Void Lock. Go ahead and pick it up if you have not got it for your Void Lock 23 Legendary Shards, but moving on. Next up, we have the Dragon's Shadow for the Hunter or Huntress. 23 Legendary Shards for this exotic chest plate. Main perk on it is called Wraith Male's Mail. Main perk on it is called Wraith Metal Mail. Grants increased movement and weapon handling speed for a short time after dodging. Now I will say, at the moment, this is really, really good in PvP. Especially if you're going around as an Arc Strider, I will say it is a lot, a lot of fun. Once again, 23 Legendary Shards for your Hunter or Huntress. Go ahead and pick it up and try it out for that good old Arc Pole Dance because it is amazing. Moving on though to the Weapon of the Week, we have the D-E-R-C-I Sniper. The Darcy, 29 Legendary Shards for this exotic. Now this exotic in itself isn't really that exotic, but its perks are pretty unique. Main perks being Personal Assistant, aiming an enemy to view his health and other critical information in the scope. Other than health, there really isn't that much critical information about certain enemies, other than if you're using a crucible and you can see if people have, you know, their super and stuff like that, which is kinda cool. And backing up its main perk of personal assistant with the second actual backup perk being target acquired when personal assistant is active. This weapon has better target acquisition and deals more precision damage. I will say, it is actually pretty decent, and I kind of do like it as snipers have been, you know, drastically changed from what they had been before. Before this actual 1.1.4 update, for the go fast stuff, snipers just weren't, weren't really snappy. Now, they seem pretty nice, I like them. Anyway, 29 legendary shards once again, go ahead and pick this up if you have not got it. But moving on to the consumables of the week, we have some 3 of coins. One 3 of coin for 31 legendary shards, go ahead and pick some up if you have not got them, allows you to get more of those exotics which is always good. And finally, we have the exotic fated engram, 97 legendary shards for this fated engram. Which, I will say, allows you to get, you know, good exotics that you know haven't actually got unless you've already got them, then you just get stuff like that. Which, I will have to say, transversive steps are actually pretty beastly. While sprinting, movement speed is increased and energy weapons are automatically reloaded. Yeah, I will say, I like that very much so myself. These boots in themselves are pretty awesome. 
But that has been Zor's location and inventory for the weekend. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been Zach Novak. Sorry once again for the video being late. And uh, sorry I didn't actually have that video that was supposed to go up, I think, yesterday about me kind of running down the whole update of the Go Fast update in itself of how much stuff I liked, how much stuff I didn't like. It's just a lot of stuff that was in there I really did like. Do apologize once again, I've been sick. This has been Zach Novak. That was pretty cool. Anyway. Once again, this has been Zach Novak. Leave a like down below, leave a comment, let me know what you got from Zor if you actually picked anything up or if you want to, you know, see anything new that he could potentially have. Like, you know, maybe some cool aura sparrows or something like that. Just something that could be really unique and just completely different to the game. Anyway, once again, this has been Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was in Shuren. But until next time, this is Zach Novak signing off. Peace out.